All right, week three time line. We're gonna start with Hinduism in India. Um, in Hinduism, they teach that Raman is the one true spirit. And so we're gonna do the sign for spirit. And you put one little hand like this and one little hand like this, and then it kind of like goes up like this. So this is also the sign for ghost or spirit, anything like that. Um, so this is Hinduism. And then in India, we've already done, we're gonna point to our forehead where they would wear the little red dot. Um, after that is Phoenicians and the alphabet. You see that really awesome boat. Um, the Phoenicians were shipbuilders, um, not farmers as much. So we're gonna show them on a boat. Um, to show sailing or on a boat, you're gonna do a three hand, but kind of pointing out instead of up. And then you're gonna put it in the water. And this is your ship and it's going sailing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do Phoenicians with a little boat and then alphabet we're going to do this um, sign language for A and B to start just which starts the alphabet um, so A is your fist and your thumbs going straight up you can think of it like a round apple with a stem and then B is a flat hand with your thumb going across and it almost looks like a letter B if you look at it sideways so alphabet next is Olmex of Mesoamerica um, this is one of their famous stone head carvings and these these things were massive huge um so we're gonna for omex we're gonna start with an o um with both hands and we're gonna outline our head to kind of signify the really cool massive stone head carvings that they made omex of Beth america next is israelite exodus and desert wanderings what? so this one um not an asl sign but a neat illustration we're going to show that all the people are together and then they go out and then they disperse so this is Israelite Exodus. You guys know the story from the Bible. And then Desert Wandering is the second part of that card. You're gonna show um, a D or one little lonely person um, just kind of wandering around. And this one is kind of fun because you also have to show on your face that you're like lost and confused. Um, so we're desert wandering. So we don't know where to go next. <laughs> After that is Israelite Conquest and Judges. Okay, so this is another two-part one. We're gonna show conquest first, and um, this one is when there's two people, and one per, one people group um, conquers the other people group, and they force them into submission, like I'm the boss of you. <laughs> so Israelite conquest, and then for judges, we're going to um, have two okay hands like this, okay, um, but they're flat. And what we're gonna do is we're going to weigh them in the scales. So if you have ever seen an image of like the blind lady Liberty, um, where she's got a scale and she's she's weighing truth. Um, so we're gonna just do this for judges, which shows we're measuring, is it true, is it not true, is it good, is it bad? Israelite conquest and judges. All right, for Greek dark ages, um, here's one of my favorite signs. We're gonna cover up our eyes because it's dark. Can you remember that one? Me too. Okay. Next is Israel's United Kingdom. This is our last one for week three. Um, hello. Uh, we're going to show uh, United. So that is taking two fingers. You can use um, your pointer finger and your thumb or a middle finger and your thumb. Both are right, um, but you're just going to bring them together and lock them so that they are one united piece. So that is Israel's United Kingdom. And that's your timeline for week three. Good luck.